everyone, it's Debbie Mirza, the author of The Covert Passive Aggressive Narcissist. Um, I wanted to talk to you today about really a shocking behavior that covert narcissists do that you really don't notice until you're past the relationship, sometimes years past it, and you start piecing things together and you start, especially when you are starting to get in healthier relationships, you start looking back on what you went through with the covert narcissist and you notice things that you didn't notice at the time. And one of those things that when your eyes start opening, it's shocking, um, is that anytime you are injured or something tragic happens to you, they really don't care. But unlike overt narcissists who will yell at you and demean you in really um, overt ways, they will demean you during these times by um, not caring. I'll give you an example that'll explain it better. Um, someone I was talking to was uh, married for a long time to a covert narcissist. She was in a really bad car accident. It's amazing that she survived. Her family and friends were devastated and calling her oh my gosh are you okay you know the thought of losing her to them would be devastating so but to her husband he took care of her like he did the actions of taking care of the kids while she was recovering and you know helping take care of the details with her insurance on the car but when this woman looks back, she realized there was no devastation from him. There was no, oh my gosh, I could have lost you, you know? Um, and when you talk to someone, you know, I actually I have a friend who did lose his wife. And when you hear him talk about her and the devastation it caused him and how much he misses her and when anything would happen to her in the relationship he was just on it wanting to help her wanting to make sure she was okay that's what love really looks like but you get so used to these behaviors with the covert narcissist you don't see through it so when they're not devastated when they're not oh my gosh you know I would die without you when they don't have that feeling towards you when you really look back they really never cherished you in that way you know and so it's not overt abuse but it's devastating it is devastating to almost lose your life and have your partner not really care when you really look back at it with new, wide open eyes. Another example, I talked to a woman who um, had surgery. And she came back from the surgery and he picked her up and he brought her home. So it's like, it's one of those things where you, you feel like you can't say anything against them. You, like, you feel like, oh, I'm just being sensitive because they're helping. You know, um, they're doing things that are helpful. They're helping you in bed. You know, they're bringing you medication or whatever you need, you know, while you're getting over the pain of the surgery. But you get this feeling anytime a covert narcissist is in a caretaking position of you, they hate it. They resent you. They can't stand it. They won't say that to your face they will act like Mr. or Mrs. Wonderful to other people. So other people are like, wow, you're so lucky. Your husband or wife takes such good care of you or your mom or your dad, you know. But what you feel is their rage. You feel their rage when you're laying in bed after surgery or when you're really sick or maybe you were injured because you were on your bike and you fell and you got a bad injury you feel their anger towards you and they will say things to you that that is not in a way of yelling or putting you down but it's in a way of making you pay 
you know, uh, for instance, the woman who had the surgery and got home and he was helping her. He sat by her side when she was like, you know, just coming off the anesthesia and everything and feeling a lot of pain, looped up on meds. And he said, you know, he had this conversation. She told me that um, he explained to her how she had really hurt him, really affected him because she didn't seem very appreciative in the hospital to him and you know when she was waking up she was you know not really attentive to him basically <laughs> I mean it's disgusting it is disgusting the behavior this behavior is deplorable to treat someone who is there for you because you know as targets you are fully there for these people and when you need them the most, they punish you. They devalue you, but in very covert ways. So everyone else, to everyone else, they look like the hero because that's the most important thing to them is how they look. So just to give you another um, trait to help you sort this all out, if you really look back on your childhood with a covert parent, or a marriage or a dating relationship. Think about the times you had surgery or you were injured or you were sick or you were weak in any way. Um, and just notice how they treated you. And remember what love looks like. Love looks like, oh my gosh, how can I help? How are you feeling? Showing empathy, you know, someone who really puts themselves in your shoes, puts things aside in their life because you are tr their treasured love and they want to help you. And I guarantee that did not happen with the covert narcissist in your life. You were, I'm sure, made to feel guilty in some way that you weren't this or you weren't that or you were too much of this or not enough of that because those are the constant messages you get from covert narcissists and it is not right. And you deserve so much better. And I'm happy you're watching these videos. I'm happy you're getting this education and information to help you piece everything together and see clearly and never ever let this happen again. So take really good care of yourself. I hope this helped and I will talk to you soon.